And of course, the most important piece of all of this is having that plan in place. Our Aaron Cottrell has a few tips for us. Good morning, Aaron. You've been giving some great advice all morning long. We want these tips to go into action if that is needed. Yeah, Nikki D, you're absolutely right. You know, and one thing that you can do that's very easy is just to make sure you have weather alerts set up on your phone and also know your community's warning sign. You know, a lot of places have a tornado siren if one is approaching. So, you know, another thing you can do is just have a plan in place, know where you need to go in case that tornado does come. Find a safe place, whether that's your basement or it's at the storm cellar or an interior room at the lowest floor with no windows. Also, know, know the warning signs. A tornado watch means a tornado is possible. A tornado warning means a tornado has been sighted on the ground or indicated by weather radar. You can also look for tornado danger signs in the sky like dark or often greenish clouds. Local agencies like Mountain Juliet are preparing their communities for the potential of storms, especially after the destruction they saw on March 3rd, 2020. During a disaster, no matter what kind of disaster it is, tornado, thunderstorm, flood, earthquake, whatever, um, a lot of people don't realize that it, local, um, local phone systems tend to get overloaded really quick. So an emergency family communications plan is a great idea. Think of people you can call out of town or text out of town because out of town communications tends to work a little easier. Now the American Red Cross also suggests having an emergency kit with extra batteries in there, copies of important documents, a flashlight. Also something else to do is secure your items out outside. And if you have any animals out there as well, make sure you bring them indoors. Reporting live in Nashville, Aaron Cantrell, News Channel 5.